How's it going, yo? Jake to the barber. Currently working at West Coast Cuts Barbershop in Santa Rosa, California. You know, it's you guys that keep me going and continuing the education or any technique, you know, whatever it is. So recently I've had a lot of questions going on, whether it was on Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Uh, make sure I cover them because a lot of times I don't have time to reply to all these messages. I feel like it's very important to be interactive with everyone that has questions to all the up and coming barbers, cosmetologists, stylists, you know, or just even a little motivational speeches or quotes that I say throughout the day. You know what I mean? This can be relevant to everyone. Here are some of the questions that I have or that I've got asked uh, in the past week. And I try to focus on the bigger uh, questions that I most frequently get asked. So how did I get in the industry? So I'm sure every barber, uh, cosmetologist, stylist, whatever field you're in, everyone has their own little story. And uh, this is mine. So, so I've always been an artist growing up. Any form of art kind of always got my attention. And one day, you know, I was uh, I was on YouTube actually. Um, I forget what barber it was, but you know, I stumbled upon a hair design. And you know, where I'm from, that's you know out of this world. You know what I mean? It's everyone gets just basic haircuts, all even buzz cut, you know, so you don't really see that. So when I seen these hair designs on YouTube, it, I was shocked. Then I was like, I want to try that, you know? So, you know, <clears throat> my mom always had a extra pair of clippers laying around. And uh, so one day I went to my one of my uh, friend's house. And I was like, yo, uh, what do you, you ever try, you know, doing hair designs? You can do it. So we're sitting in his room for about two hours. Could you not? And he's sitting there catching the little Superman logo behind my head. And, you know, it turned out all right, you know, but it's just little things like that. It's like, wow, I, you know, I can do that in like 25 minutes, 30 minutes, you know what I mean? He was sitting there two hours, you know? And I was just, I lost track of time because I was so like, you know, amped up about it. Anyways, long story short, uh, he did it, turned out cool, and I was like, let me try cutting your hair. So my first ever haircut was, you know, about eighth grade, about eight years ago. <clears throat> and uh, it turned out pretty good. And I just kept with it, you know, I, it was, it was a hobby at the time, you know, I would, I would just cut all of my friends' hair, just for free. So yeah, man, just kind of stuck around, and uh, I guess I never lost interest, uh, you know, with the whole industry. So that's that's how I got into it, and uh, sure enough, I went to Moeller Barber College in Oakland, and just, you know, never looked, never looked back. How... How do you style hair to go up or give it volume? A good friend of mine, Tim, actually described it in a way that, like, he said it's like, this is how I got it described to, to me. So, when doing so, first off, the hair obviously has to have some sort of length to it if you want it to really, you know, poof up. So, I'm not the one to promote products because they're not paying me, but I, I personally use Sexy Hair, uh, blow dry volumizing gel. And you can get this at Cosmo Prof or online. Um, this is what it looks like. So you apply the, the volumizing gel, and I personally like to use a little round brush, right? And the way that you got to think about it is um, when it comes to styling hair you got to think of sugar and caramel right so when you melt sugar it forms into a shape when it, when you cool it it hardens 
into that formation that you created. So here essentially is the same thing. You, you put the volumizing gel in, you get the round brush, and you have your hot, your warm, and your cool on your blow dryer, right? So I kind of like get a good grasp of the hair, and you want to blow dry it on warm. Personally, that's what I like to use. So you're blow drying it, right? You're creating that shape that you want, and then when you think it's right, you press the cool button and you then therefore create that shape or that whatever you're trying to create. Sometimes people have really thick, dense hair and you just gotta be patient and keep doing it, right? So that, that'd be my best answer on how to give hair volume or style it up. What is my favorite haircut to do? My favorite haircut is I like doing high tapers or high fades, bald fades, uh, with a lot of hair on top. Because when you bald it out, it gives it that, like, it just gives it that dramatic blend. You know, when it goes from bald to just like a whole lot of hair, it just, I like that look. You know what I mean? Recently, I, I like, uh, I've been. You know, messing around more with styling of hair, texturizing, point cutting, cross cutting. Uh, anyways, high tapers and high fades are, are my favorite. And then design because, you know, that's, again, that's what first attracted me to the industry. And that's, you know, it's kind of what I'm known for. I like doing design. And, you know, it's, it's really like, when I do a design and people say, do whatever, it's such a good feeling to you know have people's trust and be able to express your artwork and zone out and you know, not think about anything else. So I love doing design, man. It's, it's, I love it. This is a hard one. Top five barbers. So I don't have a top five, man. It's too. There's too many like talented barbers out there that I look up to, and. You know, everyone has their own specialty, you know, whether it be classic cut, be design, bald, really nice bald fades or clean fades. Um, some people are really good at beards, some people are really good at, you know, Rob the Original, good at portraits and all. You know, everyone has their specialty, man. So, like, if you, a better question would be top five barbers in the classic, top five barbers in the freestyle or designs, top five, you can't just be like, boom, top five barbers, there's too many good, talented people out there, man, it's, it's not gonna happen. I will say this, Pacino's is someone that I really, really look up to because he, his story is just inspirational, man, and he's really humble. Really humble. The man's doing it, man, and that's that's some that's someone that you want to look up to because he knows what it is to go through what you know most people go through in terms of hardships and setbacks and just life, man. And he he's willing to tell how he got to the top and he's willing to you know talk to people. He's not you know snobbish. You know he you'll ask him a question, he'll answer it. You know with passion. And that's what I love about him, man. He's, you know, it's, it's crazy. He, that man, and he, the thing about him, he's never content. He's always pushing to better himself. And that's something that I really admire about him. So he's definitely top five. What clippers do I, what clippers do I use and why? So I've always been a wall guy. Um, and, and that's just kind of, so no one really taught me how to cut hair. I was pretty much self-taught for the most part. You know, I didn't really have that guidance, you know? Uh, so the first pair of clippers that I ever picked up was wall. And it kind of just stuck with me, you know, wall, wall. You know, my first pair of detailers were wall details. So it kind of just stuck with me because I used it so many times repetitively and I got used to the clipper, you know? So, in this industry, you gotta be open-minded to 
everything. You know, you never know. There could be a clipper out there that uh, they come up with, they come out with, and next thing you know, you're using them out. So for me, I try to be as versatile as possible, both with clippers and with haircuts. Uh, so I actually have about 12 clippers. Um, you know, I use Oster, I use Wall, I use Andy's, I use Fabulous. You know, I, I use pretty much the, the bigger brand company. So, I mean, it's good to be open-minded and to try new things out because you never know. One clipper could be better than this one. Or one could be, you know, you just never know. So, definitely test out every clipper you can because you just never know what you can Work. You know, everyone works differently, you know. So do I plan on opening a shop? Yes, I do. Um, I haven't really said the location. Um, I'm that type of person that I'm gonna say I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it. So I don't really like pressing the issue or, or talking about it, you know, and then me not follow through with that. I am gonna do it. Um, I set a goal for January 2018, which is in a year, but, um, you know, I may do it sooner, I may do it a little after, but I will, I will open the barbershop soon. So this is a good question. Tips for our students, and then tips for barbers in the UK. So, what I have to say about tips from the UK. So from what I've noticed, um, barbers in the UK are really good at styling hair, but their blends aren't all there. The thing is, that's kind of how I feel about barbers in the US, you know? Their blends are really nice, but their styling isn't all there. So here's what I have to say about that. Every barber should try to capitalize on every haircut and try to be as versatile as possible because at the end of the day, any human being should be able to go anywhere and receive the same haircut. You know, every barber should have the same skill set as every other barber, you know. So that's kind of what I feel about but Tips on social media and tips on barber students. So this is kind of intertwining with tips with barber students, UK, and social media. So again, when I was in barber college, I made sure that anyone that walked through those doors, I was gonna try to cut them. Why? Because I wanted, that's where you mess up. That's where it's okay to mess up. You wanna get as much practice and repetitive cuts as possible because that's how you're gonna get good. You know, it doesn't happen overnight. You gotta keep cutting and cutting and cutting, and you can see what works good for this client, what works good for that client, what works good for this hair, what works good for that hair. You wanna make sure that you're um, as versatile as possible, um, making that transition from barber college or, or cosmetology school to you know, the real world or to a shop or so on. A lot of barbers don't do that, you know? Uh, when I went to school, people would shy away from a certain hairstyle or, or hair texture. And that's, you gotta have confidence, you know what I mean? Otherwise, you're not really gonna succeed in this industry, you know? You have to be versatile and be able to accommodate to any hairstyle or, or hair texture. Um, I feel like social media is very important nowadays. Chuck is a barber, I believe his name is. He said it, any bar, any person can be, can just go on their Instagram and hashtag barber, and all these barbers are gonna pop up within your area, and then boom, next thing you know, you're going to that barber. So you gotta be on top of your social media nowadays. I always tell people when I teach or educate classes that social media is free so you got to use it to your full advantage you know what I mean that's how you're gonna get exposure you know if you don't put yourself out there you not a lot of people will word of mouth is the best, best advertisement I feel like but it can only get so far so you got to use social media to your full advantage this is a funny thing I always get made fun of for being on social media 
but look where I'm at. You know what I mean? If something works for me, that's I'm gonna continue doing what works for me. You know, you can't let all that negative try to bring you down just because I'm doing good and you're not doesn't mean I'm gonna stop doing what I'm doing because you're not doing good and I am. You know? So you gotta have a positive mind, open minded, and, and with success is gonna be hey. You know? So you just gotta keep doing you. Uh, anyways, thanks for tuning in. Remember, like, comment, subscribe. Hey.